Browns star tight end welcomes new draft pick to Cleveland, gets cut hours later. If you've ever wondered how cutthroat the NFL can be, all you have to do is follow Browns tight end Gary Barnage on Twitter, and you'll get a good taste of how ugly things can be for an NFL player sometimes. Like most of America, Barnage was paying attention to the NFL draft on Thursday, and he seemed pretty excited after the Browns made a trade near the end of the first round that allowed them to land tight end David Joku out of the University of Miami with the 29th overall pick. As soon as Joku was drafted, Barnage sent out a tweet welcoming the Browns' new tight end to Cleveland. The excitement didn't last long for Barnage though, because 15 hours after welcoming Joku to Cleveland, the Browns decided they didn't want Barnage anymore, so they released the veteran on Friday. Despite the fact that the Browns drafted Joku, Barnage's release was still a mild surprise. Just two years ago, the veteran led the Browns in receiving yards during a 2015 season where he caught 79 passes for 1,043 yards and 9 touchdowns. Those are impressive numbers, especially when you consider the fact that Barnage put up those numbers while catching passes from guys like Josh McCown, Johnny Manziel, and Austin Davis. After the 2015 season, the Browns rewarded Barnage with a three-year, $12.3 million contract extension. In 2016, Barnage's receiving numbers dropped off, but that's mostly because the Browns were bad. The tight end finished the season as the team's second leading receiver with 612 yards. Now that he's been cut, the upside for Barnage is that he'll now presumably get to sign with a team that will actually have a quarterback who can throw him the ball. As for the Browns, the upside for them when it comes to cutting Barnage is that they'll save roughly $2. $2 million toward the 2017 salary cap.